the National Nasara Coordinator for the Governing New Patriotic Party, Kamal Dean Abdullah, says the deportation of the party's campaign manager in the 2016 elections, Peter McMenu from Kenya, over the weekend raises suspicion of electoral malpractices in Tuesday's election. He says the action by the Kenyan authorities does not bode well for multi-party democracy in Africa. Mr. McMenu arrived in Ghana yesterday after he was denied entry into Kenya by authorities of that country. He was leading a delegation of the Democratic Union of Africa to observe the Kenyan elections scheduled for next Tuesday, but was stopped at the airport. Now, Acting General Secretary John Wedu earlier told Joy News the party will investigate the circumstances under which its campaign manager was deported and take a decision. Kamal Dean Abdullah informed us earlier Mr. McMenu is not perturbed by the occurrence, but the issue raises questions. He got back to this country safely on Saturday. Um, I spoke with him yesterday. He was fine. Um, nothing really happened. But you see, I think when we told this trend or this trajectory, we will end up soiling the name of Africa in terms of our democratic development. We all say that, look, let's allow multi-party democracy to take place. Let's allow people to express their views on who to govern us, on what kind of policies that we want to see. That is why I believe most political parties in most of the sovereign countries I've mentioned will come out with their manifestos, spelling out what they'll be doing for the people of, those country, of, 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 that, of that country or not. And I believe that campaigning has gone on. I believe that the ruling party today in Kenya also have been campaigning. Opposition parties have also been campaigning. Of course, all of them might have ruled out their plans for the country. Is that not right? Mm -hmm. Now, if we have all this, then we then have maybe some perceived twisting of arms, okay, in an impending election, to the extent that observers coming into this country, I mean, to the country, who have nothing, to, no role to play, just to come and observe. We all know how our election is observed. observed. You just come, look at it, give a report, say whether or not there was, it was free and fair, and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what is supposed to happen. But nonetheless, some leaders on our continent have decided that, look, let us have our way by hook or crook. And I think it's not so good for us. Let's go over to the phone lines now and speak to Kenyan journalist Rodrik Lulano Mulind. Um, good morning, Rodrik. Or oh, is it afternoon there already? Yes, it's afternoon in Kenya. Good afternoon then. So what is the local media in Kenya saying about the deportation of Ghana's Peter McMenu and other international observers? Sorry, come again. I am asking what the local media is discussing about the deportation of some election observers, including Ghana's Peter McMenu. Um, the Kenyan media is reporting the news of the deportation of the, the two actually uh, observers that were actually hired by the opposition in a very, in a very negative way. Mm. It, uh, it, it, it seems to be a biased action from the government. So um, there's suspicion that the government is trying to do something, and that is why these persons were deported? Yes. Uh, 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 the thing is, we, um, the public is expecting the government of wanting to do something that is uh, termed that's being fishy. Uh, because... One, uh, they are believed, the government is believed to be biased because when they had their own campaigns, we had people from outside Kenya. We had people from Uganda. We had uh, the, 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 the Tanzanian prime minister coming to help the government in campaigning. They were never deported. But now the big question is, why is it that when somebody comes to help the opposition, he or she is being deported? That's the big question. Now, we understand, at least from those of us in Ghana, that this person going to Kenya from here was going as an independent observer. Is that to say, from what you are saying, that he's believed to be going there purposefully to help the opposition? Sorry? Is there any suspicion that these people who are being deported are going there purposefully to help the opposition? 
That is an assumption from the government. Okay. The two people who are deported, the two from, from, from the U.S., were actually hired by the opposition to help them in, uh, in, 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 in tallying, in water tallying activities. All right. All right. Uh, so, so there's an... Uh, mm. Actually, actually uh, uh, the government assumed that they were coming to help the opposition to rig the elections. I believe that's why they were deported. Right, so there's an understanding there now. So what is the atmosphere in Kenya like ahead of the elections? Um, the atmosphere is not very, very friendly because we believe that people from the urban centers will be uh, 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 a little bit afraid. They have deserted the streets. So many people have gone to their rural homes. Hmm. How, yes. are, how are the security officials and governments reacting to this? Sorry? How is government security taking this feeling of tension and fear? The public in general was assured of security. But uh, we have mixed, mixed reactions within the public. Mm. So most of them believe there will be a repeat of what happened in 2007. Mm. A number of them believe we'll have chaos. So quite a good number of people have migrated to their rural homes. Thank you very much, Rodrik Lunalo Molinda. We wish you all the best in your election on Tuesday. Still watching news desk.